Good day, everyone, and welcome to Adventures with Parker. Today, we are back at Winterfest 2023. So I've already done a vlog from Winterfest this year, but uh, this video is going to be our unofficial part two because there's a lot of things that I missed last time, including the tree lighting ceremony, the What Did Dickens show, and I didn't get to see a lot of the shops. And like I said, there's always so much to do at Winterfest. You really need multiple visits to experience it all. So yes, we're back. We're gonna hit up all of those things that I missed. Plus today I'm going to be joined by my friends, Mitch, Burke and Briggs. So we're gonna hang out and uh, we're also going to sample some adult beverages today. My birthday is actually this week. Uh, so we're visiting on a Sunday. My birthday is on Wednesday. So yeah, this is kind of like an unofficial early celebration for that. So yeah, keep in mind that although all my videos are family friendly, uh, the Christmas tree isn't the only thing getting lit tonight. <laughs> I'm so excited to be back, get on some rides, see some shows, eat some food and all that good stuff. So without any further ado, let the Winterfest adventures begin. All right, so another thing we didn't get to do last time is check out all of the shops here on International Street. So we're gonna start out by checking out the Mistletoe, which is here in the main Wonderland Emporium building. I think you gotta enter on the other side here. But yeah, this store will have a lot of your classic Christmas gifts, Christmas ornaments, little kitschy housewares and stuff like that. Oh, these are cool. We have some official Winterfest shirts and hoodies here. I've always loved that original concept art. It is so pretty and really just captures like the magical vibes of Winterfest. Also got some doormats here, some body lotion kits, candles. Yeah, the store pretty much has all of your classic Christmas gifts and ornaments and bubbles and sweaters and all that good stuff. gosh <laughs> the yeti shirts that's so cute i love it and then of course you have the uh the abominable snowman plushies here as well oh and they even come in mugs that is that is really cute well 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 look who's back hello mr twister how are you doing oh uh, i'm doing nice and sweet and sugary as always awesome that's good to hear uh, what made you come back today i mean i just I just have to be back. There's so much that I missed sure. last you, time, yeah, and yeah, it's sure. always so wonderful to be I'm here. Always, I'm always sweet and glad to see you. Oh, uh, thank you, you as well. <laughs> what are you up to today? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. Okay. Did you try the candy cake funnel cake? Not yet. So maybe that's gonna have to be on my list. Right, actually, top of your list for sure. It will be. Top of your list for sure. No. Candy cake is not here with me. She's at the parade. Today. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's okay. Maybe she'll be back some other time. Ooh. Also, another thing I forgot to note in my last video. Uh, skating is back, so you can rent some skates and you can slip and slide your way on the uh, central fountain there, but it is an upcharge, so I always tend to avoid it when I visit. I've done it a few times in other years and it is fun, but you know, after you do it a few times, it is, uh, it is expensive. But anyways, this is where you would check in if that is something you want to do. Right, so our first stop of the day is the Jingle Bar. Yes, we are we are starting strong. So yes, this is where you can get the uh, signature Winterfest cocktails. There's five different flavors available. Um, I don't know which one I'm gonna start with though. What the hell are you? Ah! <laughs> and there's Mitch. Okay, so drink number one of the night is the Missile's Ho Mojito from the Jingle Bar. And it's uh, cranberry juice, lime juice, 
a sugar rim, and Malibu rum. It's good. The more you get at Christmas time, the more you get. God bless you. Meal number one of the day. Um, we're at Lazy Bear Lodge and I basically made myself a little turkey dinner. So I got turkey, cranberry sauce, stuffing, bread, and I paired that with my second drink of the day. I got some mulled wine. So, yeah. Drink number three of the night is the icy winter breeze. There's a certain wonderland in the Profane words at the park and I would like to bring that to the attention of everyone. Oh it was an accident! I didn't even say anything. She, I didn't she, even swear. She didn't even swear! So, we are finally heading over to see oh. the tree lighting ceremony. My first time watching the tree lighting ceremony this year. And uh, I'm really excited to see it. Although, it is raining a little bit. Not too hard, but it is sprinkling and I'm a little nervous that that means we'll do the modified version. But we'll still have the vocals and we'll still have, you know, the pop and circumstance of lighting the tree. But they uh, won't do any of the choreography, which makes sense. You don't want the actors to slip or anything while they're up there. But either way, I I'm still looking forward to it. And also, I'm still sipping away on this icy winter breeze. It was a little chaotic, so I didn't really get to explain what it is. But uh, yeah, it it's pretty good. These cocktails are super sweet, which makes them a little dangerous. But they are really, really yummy. Uh
All right, so the tree lighting ceremony this year was, it was cute. They kind of went back to the, uh, I think it was like the older version that they did, but um, it was good. I mean, obviously they had to modify it because of the rain, but it was still really cute seeing all the characters up there. That is new this year, seeing like Sugar Plum and the gingerbread people and all of those wonderful residents of Winterfest. So it was great to see them on full display. And I'm looking forward to seeing the uh, full version of the choreography. Also, Tarno Tai is here. Hey, I should have worn a raincoat. Yeah. <laughs> I was not prepared for it to be like this. Where's the snow? Jack Frost, you're letting us down. break in the holiday market and like I said last time it is now located in this arcade building near Leviathan and now that I'm here for a second time I gotta say I don't think I like the new layout it's kind of squishy and I mean it's not too busy today but I know if it were super busy it'd be way too claustrophobic and way too crowded in here plus you can't fit as many vendors in so your options are going to be limited just by the fact that you don't have enough space available. It, it's still a great part of Winterfest, and I'm glad it's still here, but it, it sucks that it's not as big and grand as it was in other years. So, Burke was kind enough to get me a donut. Oh, yeah. Because uh, there's a deal on. Uh, same place as I got mine from last time, but I got a Kit Kat donut with, uh, with no Kit Kat. I don't know how that happened, but a free donut's a free donut, so. You don't like Adventure with Parker. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But, I'm but, canceled. But if you so. come here for the donuts, you can get three for 10, but you have friends, like, you guys can split for a donut. It's really good. I recommend good it. Deal. The donuts are good here. You gotta come get them. All right, drink number, I lost count, five, I think. Oh God, that's embarrassing. Uh, this is the sugar cookie eggnog, which uh, looks pretty good. I'm a really big fan of eggnog. And of course, being the uh, cocktail, it does have some form of alcohol in there. I'm gonna have to double check what it is, probably rum. And it comes with a little uh, gingerbread cookie. Yes, Burke, yes! <laughs> All right, here's another thing I don't do a whole lot when it comes to Winterfest, Charlie Brown's Tree Lodge, which is this little walkthrough thing where you can wander through the tree lot and see the uh, special tree from Charlie Brown. I think you can meet Snoopy too, if I'm not mistaken. We'll find out. It just smells like Ikea. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello, Snoopy. How are you doing today? Awesome, awesome. I have some friends coming. We might grab a quick picture with you if that's okay.
Okay, so just did flying eagles a couple times and I'm not really sure if I got it to work, but uh, the other guys actually got to make it snap, which is really hard to do on the newer flying scooters. On old ones, like the ones at Knobles, it's super easy to do, but these guys somehow got it. How does it feel to snap flying eagles? Yeah. It's so it's so fun. On these ones, like these are the newer ones, so it's harder to do, so it's still a little trickier. But it's so fun to do. The Kino if you ever go to the one of the older ones, like the ones that can open, Oh yeah, the no ones easily. are so fun, but and we probably just scared the ride off for it by stopping down their face hilarious. <laughs> I know, they're like, don't be aggressive with the face, and I'm this like, is what I'm happens free. when you have a few deeds on here. Yeah, we figure out the tricks. Exactly. <laughs> I was terrified. I knew what happened. Like here's like boom. <laughs> like my, my thing is like vibrating. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Like, I thought it hit the ground or something. Hello! <laughs> okay, this is really weird, but the uh, Christmas candy lane lights aren't on tonight. I have no idea why, but one of them is on. Interesting. Very interesting, hmm. I'll be with you every Christmas. We three know that's understood. Many, many nights like this one. If we're lucky, knock on wood. Merry almost Christmas. Happy that you're here. Merry almost Christmas. Happy almost Christmas. sleigh bells, I think about Santa Claus! Well, of course! And you know what? I bet some of our friends here saw Santa himself tonight, didn't you? Well, he's just around the mountain, so I hope you've all been good. <gasps> Blanche? Nobody told me I had to be good! Oh, well, I don't think you've got anything to be worried about. Now, what will Santa Claus say when he finds everybody singing? What The Mistletones is such a cute show. I mean, it's the same show that they've been doing since 2019, but it is so cute and it is such a classic. And I love that kind of old school, like 20s, 30s, 40s, like big band style. It is so much fun. And I'm sad that I missed it last time, but so glad that I got to uh, take it in on uh, This Is It. Oh, no, listen, 
I know you've had a tough couple times visiting here, huh? Yeah. Traffic last time, this time's the rain, huh? Yeah, you know what? It's okay. It just means I gotta come back again. It does, for sure it does. It sure does. Did you end up trying the candy cane funnel cake? Not yet. Another oh, reason come to come on. back. I'm sorry, it's been such a busy night. I want to so bad, I promise. It's on my list. That just means he has a reason to come back. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'll hold it over you until you have one. Alright. Uh, well, how was your night? Oh, it was nice and great, nice and sweet for sure. Oh, yes. Of Wonderful. Great to hear. It rained, you like to go? We love the rain. Oh, yes. It's beautiful again. Not the best for the frosting, unfortunately. Fair enough, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, guys, look, there's an excavator out front by Leviathan. They're getting rid of it, it's going away. My camera's not focusing, it's so blurry. But it's gone. Goodbye, Leviathan. It was nice knowing you. That was a joke. Yeah. All right, and that is going to do it for our super chaotic day at Winter Fest. Frank, how was your night? Oh, uh, very fun. I always love coming to Winter Fest. Honestly, it's really fun, especially on days like this where it's dead, where sledgehammer cyclone are all marathonable. Mm -hmm. um, it's fun to walk around. I think if this is not your home park, it's not where it's coming to just because all the big rides are not open. But if this is your home park and you're not considering coming, you do gotta come check it out because it's actually way different than a regular day at Wonderland. And you can still have fun even with Leviathan being still not open. Thanks. I'm cold, I'm wet, but it was worth it though because the lines were short and I was with a great group of guys and we were just hanging out because it's not, it's better than being at like a busy time because then you're not as stressed out worrying about like, okay, I have to go to this ride next, right? So it's a lot of fun and we just watched the shows and just did our own thing, you know? It was a great time. Woo! I drank today. Uh <laughs> <laughs> This event is so fun with friends. I love the friends and I love the crew here. But man, the event, you take the friends out, this event is bad. It's bad, <laughs> it's tired, it's sad, it needs help, it needs a lifeline. Come with friends, have some drinks, you'll have a great time. There it is. He's saying we should RMC the whole park. <laughs> yeah. Oh! yeah. As for me, I always have a great time at Winterfest. Okay. It, it is a smaller event than it has been in previous years, but um, it, was, it wasn't bad. It was rainy, it was wet, the weather made it a little miserable, but being with these guys always made it fun. And uh, I did indulge in a few beverages. Be be beverages? I, I drank tonight as well. <laughs> it was great. Um, yeah. All right, and that is going to do it for today's adventure to Winterfest. I said it was a pretty good day overall. I mean, the weather really, really sucked, especially because we didn't get to see the full blown version of the tree lighting ceremony. So, so far in 2023, I still haven't seen a proper tree lighting ceremony, but like I said, I will be back, so there will be more opportunities to see it. But yeah, it kind of sucked. And I'm still waiting for that perfect, like, snowy visit to Winterfest. I'm sure it'll come before the end of the year, but the rain, like, oh my gosh. So gross and just blah. <laughs> but being with these guys definitely made up for it. Like I've said before, doing Winterfest, like, you can do it alone and you'll have a great time, like I did on opening night. But... It's really an event that's meant to be enjoyed with your friends, with your family. So being with these guys was just ah, so much fun. It definitely made the night worth it. It was also very interesting trying all of those uh, beverages, if you will. I mean, I'm not really one to drink at the theme parks. Very, very rarely will I have a cocktail or a craft beer, but never have I like, you know, full blown had multiple drinks in one night. And I, I mean, obviously like we were responsible, so we weren't getting too too rowdy. Um, it, it was just a very different experience for me and it was okay. And I think Winterfest is like the vibe to do something like that. Like I would never do that during a summer day. It, it just, I don't know, it, it just wouldn't be fun to me. But uh, just the way Winterfest is set up, it's kind of like a party as it is. So it worked out. It, it was very expensive. So again, if it wasn't for the excuse of my birthday, I don't think it's something I would do. But overall, it was a good time. Now, as for my actual birthday, that was on Wednesday, the 29th, and it was just a low-key day. Like, I never really do anything big or grand for my birthday, but my fiancé Mike and his mom made me a really good dinner. Mike's mom made me her famous Yum Yum Chicken, which is, like, the best cooked chicken I've ever had. I couldn't tell you what it is because it's, uh, it's a bit of a secret that I will not to find out until many years down the road <laughs> but it does in fact live up to the name <laughs> and then after that we just went out to see priscilla at the movies it was a good movie like it wasn't 
my favorite movie ever, but it was interesting and I did quite enjoy uh, that little outing. And then the following day, my grandparents took me out to the Erie Beach Hotel in Port Dover, which is this restaurant by the beach, and they're really famous for their Lake Erie Perch. It's a place that we go to every so often and it is just so good. And um, that made me really happy that I could hang out with them and eat at a place that I love. So yeah, overall my birthday week, I guess, was pretty good. Like, no complaints at all, and hey, here's to being 25. Woo! Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it. And if you would like to see more fun, crazy, and chaotic adventures from theme parks, attractions, and beyond, you might want to consider becoming a subscriber. You can also find me on social media, and honestly, you guys should really follow me on all the other channels, because not only do I do more of what I do here on YouTube, but I also kind of talk about other things that might go beyond the scope of the channel. But uh, you can find me on Instagram, Threads, and Twitter? Facebook? No, what? But you can find me on Instagram, Threads, and X at ADB Parker, as well as on TikTok and Facebook at Adventures with Parker. As always, big shout out to my patrons for all the extra support you guys give me. I really do appreciate you so much. And if you would like to find out how you can support the channel for as little as a toonie a month, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Parker to learn more. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, the adventures are calling. Bye bye Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. <laughs> Odd Burger is the best fast food restaurant in the world. It's true.